Next we are going to do a figure of eight wrap. A figure of eight wrap. This is a wrap for someone who has a sternoclavicular or SC sprain in the front uh, or uh, uh, clavicle fractures. Um, so uh, clavicle fracture or sternoclavicular joint. With this one, you wanna, you're going to need a double length wrap. Again, depending on the size of the person, you can either use a, a double length or 10 yard, uh, 6 inch or 4 inch. I'm going to use a 4 inch on this one. Um, if the injury is going to be on his right side, we want to make sure that we anchor it on his uh, left side, his uninjured side. Again, just going um, around the arm. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in front um, and around the, the good side. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention is the hand placement. We want to make sure that he has his hand placements on, on his hips to help bring his uh, cl clavicles uh, back. Uh, another thing that you want to be careful of is uh, any the tension under the armpits. Uh, could be a, a little um, discomfort. So again, this should be pulling um, both of your clavicles backwards. So I'm going around the back and the front pulling posteriorly. Again, watching my tension under the arm. Pulling it posterior, again on both sides, but especially on the involved side, right side. And just keep going around. Once you, once you think that you have your, your wrap is about to end, you can finish that on your uh, uninvolved side. Again, pulling the wrap at about 75% tension. With my elastic tape, I'm gonna have, ask him to uh, contract his muscle. If I just had white tape, again, I could do that in circles, just one single circles. Again, asking him to contract his uh, bicep while I go around um, at a slight angle downwards. Put in a tab or a fold on the end of the tape so I can find it later. I also want to check the distal pulse at the wrist and sensation to see if it's too tight. I also want to inspect it, um, go ahead and turn around and inspect it anteriorly. Again, this should be uh, pulling his shoulder, the scapula back into uh, retraction. So again, you want to assess the joint that's uh, injured uh, or the clavicle. And that is it. And refer him.